Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our Python programming series. Today, we're going to cover a core programming concept, conditional statements. Fundamentally, a conditional statement operates on an if-else principle. It checks whether a condition is met, that's the if part, and if not, it provides an alternative course of action, that's the else part. Imagine this scenario. It's raining outside. If it's raining, then the condition is true, I'll take an umbrella. Otherwise, the condition being false, I'll wear shorts. It's as simple as that. A conditional statement hinges on the truth value of a condition. If the condition holds, the code within the if block executes. If not, the else block comes into play. Let's illustrate this with a Python example. If I write, if five is greater than three, followed by print hello, it prints hello. Why? Because five is indeed greater than three. The condition is true. Note here that to write an if statement in Python, you simply type if, and then the condition, which is marked by some sort of relational operator, and then a colon sign afterwards. Now, what happens when the condition isn't met? Let's try if three is less than two, followed by a print statement such as print hello. As we know, three is not less than two, so nothing is printed. To handle such cases, we add an else clause. This time, if we say else print the condition was not true, it will print the condition was not true in our console. Notice Python's dependent on indentation. The if and else blocks must align and the code inside these blocks should be indented, usually by a tab or four spaces. That's how Python knows what code to execute if the if or else conditions are met. Our conditions are built using relational operators. The greater than and less than signs that we just saw, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, two equal to signs, which is a measure of equality, i.e. equal to, and not equal to, which is an exclamation mark and an equal sign. A common pitfall for beginners is confusing the assignment operator, which is one equal sign, with the equality operator, which is two equal signs. Five equals three would throw an error because it's trying to assign three to five, which is not a valid operation. We use two equal signs to compare values, like three equal to equal to two, and one equal sign to assign values, like variable name is equal to obby. Lastly, let's talk about elif, shorts for else if, and logical operators and and or. Elif lets us have multiple if statements in the same block. For example, with an age variable set to 16, we can create a new if elif else block that looks like this. If age is less than or equal to 15, print you are younger than 16. Elif age is equal to 16, print you are 16. Else, print you are older than 16. You can have as many elif statements as you want in an if elif else block. For example, the code still works if we add an else if check for the age being 17. Elif age equals 17, print you are 17. Similarly, using logical operators, we can chain multiple conditions together. If we want to check if the age falls within a range, say greater than 13 but less than 18, how would we do that? Well, we can update our elif statement to have two conditions. First, we want to check if age is less than 13, you are a child. Then let's update our elif block to say elif age greater than or equal to 13 and age less than or equal to 18 print you are a teenager, else print you are an adult. If we run this with our age variable set to 16, we see you are a teenager printed out. Why is this? Well, this is because our age variable 16 is both greater than 13 and less than 18. If we change our age to 18, we see that you are an adult gets printed out. Remember that the and operator, which again is a logical operator, requires both conditions to be true. The other logical operator in the situation is called the or operator. And the or operator needs just one. It's this or that. And as long as one condition between the two is true, the entire condition will evaluate the true. 
If we wrote a new statement, let's say if five greater than three or two less than one print high, we see that high gets printed out because at least one condition of the two, five greater than three is true. So to recap, if and else are fundamental conditional statements. With these if and else blocks exist six relational operators to determine the code flow. You have greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, the equality sign, which is two equal tos, and then the not equal to, which is an exclamation mark and then the equal to sign. Alongside this, the ELIF statement allows you to create multiple if blocks and the and and or exist as logical operators to combine conditions in different ways. That's it for this video on conditional statements. Thanks for listening, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.